Hello from Tel Aviv. Today I have a very special guest with me, someone who has won many hearts in the UAE. Doron Kabili from the popular Netflix series Fauda. Let's meet the man, Leo Ras. بتذكر ايش قلت لك بعد المباراة برملاه ما تستعجلش فهمت خلي خصمك ينشغل خليه يهاجم خليه يفكر انه راح يقبرك المهم تعبه we were when we started to write the show actually nobody even the broadcasters in Israel they didn't want it we we got so many no's Uh, no, 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 nobody wanted it. And then uh, after a long time, they bought the show. Yes, uh, channel, they bought the show. And, and, and we thought that nobody would watch it, just my family and Avi's family, my, co- my co-creator. Um, and when, when, yes, it was a big hit in Israel. And then, um, y- yes, uh, actually sold it to Netflix. And I thought it's a bad idea because who want to watch an Arabic and Hebrew show over the world. It's like, it's, it sounds ridiculous, of course, but it caught us by surprise. Everybody, many people love it. And because of the COVID now, so everybody watched it. Everybody went home, were in home. Before it was big, but now it's become much bigger because of the COVID. People stayed at home and, and watched the show. Everybody, I finished everything on Netflix. So probably, you know, everyone watched, uh, uh, many people watched Fauda. And I know that in the UAE, It was number one or number two uh, in the rating over there. And I was, listen, I, I think Fauda is a kind of, uh, we didn't mean it, meant it to be like that, but it's kind of a bridge between uh, nations, countries, and cultures. When I felt at home immediately when I came to the UAE, at home, I felt because the people, first of all, the warm welcoming. People are very welcoming. And it's... Um, And I think it's, this is the starting of uh, a, a new beginning, I think, for the whole region. I think the UAE <clears throat> and Israel, we can start now to have, uh, to build the bridge between the Arab world and to the Israelis. Because enough, you know, yalla, khalas. We, we, want, we want to live, we want to have peace. Enough with wars and enough with uh, hatred. <laughs> Uh, get a little more about Fauda. How did this all begin? How did you conceive this idea about an Arabic Hebrew show? So, first of all, I was in, in the army. I was, I was in the special forces. And when I met Avi, it's an interesting story because I met Avi in the, in the West Bank. Avi, my partner, is a journalist. He's uh, uh, dealing with, uh, with all the Arab world and he has a lot of knowledge. And, and he asked me, Uh, a few years ago, he asked me if I have a dream. And I looked at him and I said, yeah, I have a dream. I want to write something about this undercover units, about the mental price that they are paying for their actions. And also not just, not just, the, not just uh, uh, the warriors, also but the families and, the, and, the, and the, the people surrounding them. And I wanted to show also the, the, the Palestinian side, because in Israel, nobody, you know, in the culture scene, we don't see a lot of Palestinian, the Palestinian side. And, and for us, it was Arabic and Hebrew, it was, it was obvious because we love Arabic. Avi speaks fluent Arabic. Uh, my, I was speaking with my father Arabic, so we, we wanted to honor. And I think this is kind of a little bit of the magic of the show, that people are from the Arab countries see that we are honoring their language. We are, not, we are honoring their narrative as well. Even though it's an Israeli show, you know, it's, I, I, I cannot be not Israeli. I can, I, can, I can try to think how the other side thinks, but in the end of the day, it's, it's, it's me and Avi writing it. So um, this is how it starts. You know, we didn't try to be political because it's, it's, this is slippery slope, you know, and, and what we try to do is to, to, to write a good story. We wrote it in a way that we, we, we wanted to show that the other, other side have their life, their love, their kids, they, they care about their families like we care about our families. And we, we try to, to show that sometimes the good, the good guys are the bad guys and sometimes the bad guys are the, ba- are the good guys. And, and this is 
it, it was amazing, you know. I remember that I was, I was, I, I, I met um, an Israeli right, right wing Israeli, very extremist Israeli, who told me, listen, I watched Fauda and I felt very confused. And I said, why, why are you feeling confused? And she said, because I feel compassion to the Palestinian side. And also the, from the other side, from the Arab side, I, I meet Palestinians who's telling me, listen, this is the first time that we're feeling compassion to the Israeli side. So I think everyone connected to his narrative, but still he can see the other narrative of the, of the, of the other side. But what is the, if I can ask you, what is the best and worst thing that you've heard about Fauda? I think the best compliment is that... Um, that I'm an amazing actor. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, the best compliment is that um, I think that everyone from the political side, even in Israel, think like the left wingers in Israel think it's a left wing show. The right wingers think it's a right wing show. Some of the uh, uh, um, Arabs getting connected to the show. So I think this is for me, this is the best because everyone gets connected to the show. The worst, I think it's. Um, Probably things that critics talk about uh, uh, if, if the show is, uh, I don't know, not treating well or stuff like that, art, artistic way. This is for me, uh, if we're, yeah, if we're not acting well, I don't know. So this, this kind of criticism moves me more than politics. How has Fauda helped Israel in its image building, especially IDF? First of all, I, want, I think that now, I, we didn't try to help Israel, you know, but... <laughs> But now, what I hear from people, maybe you can tell it to me more about it, but that you see the Israelis as human beings for the first time. Soldiers as human beings. And as we now showing the Palestinian, uh, Palestinians as human beings. So I think this is the achievement of that show. This is, uh, um, I hope that it helped. And I know it helped people to understand that it's, there are people behind the, 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 the headlines of the, of the newspaper, you know, and, and, and those people have feelings, both sides. I became like famous when I, when I was in my 40s, you know, it's, 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 it's not easy, late bloomer. Late bloomer. Um, I think I was, I, I'm, and, I, and I'm happy that it, it, it happened it later than, than sooner because if I was if I was very young and it was happened to me when I was very young I was probably now <laughs> yeah I couldn't probably sit here and talk to you um, but you know I have my family I have my, my, my I'm very grounded with my, my, my life and I don't let the fame makes me someone else than I was you know it was it's in the end of the day we all this we all people and this is my work and this is my job that's it. So you have your job and you're very successful in your job and what I'm doing, I'm very successful in what I'm doing. So we are the same, you know, it's, I don't see, uh, it's it, it changed my, my, the way I, you know, no privacy anymore. Um, I feel that, um, but also from the other side, I can, I can reach and talk to anyone that I want to. I can be, uh, I, can in, I can influence people, I can, I can talk about stuff and people will hear me. Um, and this is, uh, I think it's a blessing, um, you know, but I'm trying to stay uh, on the grounded and humble and, 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 and not, not let it, uh, because it's very easy to, uh, to get uh, confused. See, when you wrote Fauda and when you compare what is happening in the world, everything has changed. We have coronavirus, we have Abraham Accords, Israel has made new friends in the Arab world, especially in the GCC, UAE, Bahrain, we are expecting yeah. new countries to follow. How do you see that, all these developments as an artist? And what is the role that people like you would play? First of all, I think we have now a huge opportunity to connect, because I think there is two ways to connect nations and people. First, it's with art and, and, and uh, culture. Because, you know, I'll tell you a story that happened when I was in uh, Dubai, like uh, a few weeks ago. We went to a club uh, 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 with a friend of mine, Leila. Uh, uh, she's a, an uh, Iranian singer who sings jazz. She invited us to, her, to a club to, to hear her performance, her concert. Um, 
I came with Idana Medi, he's a singer, he's a, one of the, of the characters in Fauda Sagi. I brought him with me to uh, Dubai, we were sitting there. And then Leila told, she, she, was, she, say, she said on stage, listen guys, uh, and it was full house, and she said, uh, the, guy from, the guys from Fauda are here, and you see um, uh, a table from Iranians, table of Syrians, table of, of and they all, you know, clapped, and, 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 then, and, I, I, and then she asked Idan to come and sing with her. So they sang together on the stage, Iranian, Israeli, in the UAE. It's something that could happen just in the UAE, of course, uh, with audience from all over the Arab world, and from England, and from India, and from, you know, from all over the world. Um, and I think that, that moment, I, was, I almost cried there because I saw how, how similar we are and how art can connect people. And this is what we're trying to do. So we're writing it right now. Um, um, is it going to be, is Doron going to be as chaotic as he was in the... He's going uh, to do what? Is Doron going to be as chaotic as he was in the whole this, season? Yeah, this, this, this is, no, he's going <laughs> to, he's going to, four. no, he's going to be with, it's going to be like a, a comed, comic, uh, uh, a comic <laughs> drama. Doron will be um, an origami, um, origami, origami, you know, with, um, the Japanese art, he's going to sit and doing that, all his, you know, he's going to be crazy as usual. Fauda, um, uh, there is a production company in, in, Hollywood, in uh, Bollywood that bought the rights of Fauda and uh, you, we're going to produce it over there uh, with uh, Indian uh, uh, um, uh, actors and Indian story about the Kashmir and uh, I cannot talk about it too much but, it's, but we're going to do it over there and I'll definitely want to visit there. Um, I miss India. <laughs> I was I was there a lot, and um, yeah, definitely when the COVID stops, I, I'm, I'm going to go there. First of all, come to Israel. You know, Israel is. A, I probably I, I I know that you felt it. We are very we we are, we all excited of this opportunity uh, to host you in our country and to be to show you around, to show you Israel, because I think, I think we are very similar, the UAE and Israel. We came to the desert and we built like something so huge that you cannot understand it, how it happened. Um, so as we need to learn from you guys, how you do it, how you did it, I think you can come and visit to see us. And I think this is, and, and just have fun because Israel is, is a good place to be. Uh, Tel Aviv is amazing, Jerusalem is amazing, the North is looking, is now uh, uh, all the water and the, and the sea and, and everything. So just come here, give me a call and I'll, I'll host you. <laughs>